Okay, today I'm going to go over uh, my engine test stand that I made that um, I used to test different uh, motor and propeller speed control combinations to see which ones I want to put on my plane and uh, copters. So basically I will show the uh, construction of the actual test stand at the end of the video. But for right now I'm just going to show you uh, basically the equipment that I use in, in testing it real quick. If you want to stick around at the end of the video to see how I built it, uh, you can go ahead and do that. So let me just go through what I got here. First of all, I have a scale set up here that measures the amount of grams of thrust that's being pushed along this rail right here. Now I got the motor stand is attached at the end with a motor and propeller combination. And I have the brushless uh, power wires going back here to the speed control that's connected to a power distribution that, it, that uh, powers two things, powers my KV1 meter that's going to tell me um, the KV, the measured KV of the motor and the RPMs and then it of course is uh, powering the speed control which is controlled by just a regular servo tester, just a very simple dial servo tester. Power comes in through my uh, power analyzer watt meter here and this is just going to measure the amount of amps in watts that's uh, being consumed by the motor propeller combination at the time. And then of course you just need a battery right here. We're just going to be using a 5,000 milliamp um, uh, Turnigy battery. So let me just go ahead and get it started. Um, this is a great um, device for um, using different propeller combinations. And right here, one of the most important things you got to do first of all is balance all your propellers. So right now I have a an 8 by 4.5, a 9.4.7, and a 10 by 4.5 propellers. I'm, test, I'm going to test on the 750 kV 2830 motor. So first thing you want to do is get yourself a balancer right here and balance your props perfectly before you get doing this because you want to have uh, the best performance and you um, should always have your, your props balanced perfectly anyway. So you get your, your propellers all ready to go. Uh, whatever motors you're going to test, have your motors uh, all ready to go uh, and loaded with propeller shafts so you can um, get all the different combinations that you want. And then once you start recording your information, you're going to need a sheet to be able to write all the information down. What I'm going to do right here, this is we're doing the 750 kV motor with, uh, this is the 10.4.5 prop, we're going to put it down here. And then uh, we're going to measure the, the maximum thrust, amps, watts, RPM, a measured KV and volts. That's all in the maximum. And then we're going to measure how much thrust we're going to get at 1 amp, 2 amp, 3 amp, 4 amp, and so on, so that we can create a graph later on to show us um, the power output um, under different uh, amp conditions. So uh, let's go ahead and just get this thing started up, and I'll show you how it works. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do is we're going to turn on our scale, and sometimes this is a little temperamental. Let's get that going in. It's zeroed out. We're going to power on our devices. We're going to change this one. This be on watt. So right now, this is going to measure amps and watts right here. It tells us our voltage. This is going to measure. Uh, right now, I have it set up to measure RPMs. It's going to tell us our KV. You've got to make sure you input the correct number of poles for the motor. This motor has 12 magnets. You just read the magnets, just count the magnets on the inside of the motor. Divide that by two, and that gave me six um, poles to make sure I get the correct KV for that motor. And we're ready to crank it up. So make sure that that's operating. First thing I'm going to do is uh, crank it up to maximum and see what my maximum numbers are because when the uh, when you first crank it up is when you're going to get your best reading so uh, your your maximal reading so let's uh, go ahead and crank up our power here okay. so we got 740 grams of thrust 9.8 amps 740 117 watts. RPM is 6240. KV is 512. And our voltage is 12.03. Okay, 
Yeah. Okay, so that tells us how much power at maximum that we're going to get from this uh, combination. And now I'm going to go through and run the same test, but I'm going to do it at one amp and then do, do a measurement, and then two amp and then do a measurement, and then three amp and do a measurement. You'll see me hit the uh, scale here because as it gets to a measurement, it holds it. You have to clear it to be able to get to the next measurement. So, so we're going to hit hold right here. We're going to bring it back down to zero. We're going to crank it up to one amp. We're at one amp and hit the button and we've got 110 grams of thrust. Okay, and we're going to crank it up to two. So we got 190. Three hundred and forty. Four hundred and twenty. So basically I just went through and wrote down one of my measurements at 1 through 9 amps where it cranked up so um, I never did get the 10 amps so at 9.8 amps it was 740 grams of thrust at maximum at 117 watts. Um, so basically it gives me the numbers for that motor and I just continue on and change my propellers and my motor combinations and keep filling out this information and I'm going to chart it which I'll show you on the computer how I charted and graphed the uh, information that I compiled writing down the sheets and I'll go over that next. Okay here's a spreadsheet that I put together to be able to chart all the information I compiled from the test bench. So here's a spreadsheet version of the sheet that I was filling in manually and I've just taken the information from the sheet and inputted them in at maximum thrust, amps, watts, RPM and so on. And then the, my per amp uh, gram uh, thrust calculation I put down here that is basically taken over here and is graphed in this chart so I can compare the different propeller and uh, motor combinations so in this this is a spreadsheet for my 750 kV motors and the three different propellers that I did and I have a spreadsheet for my 1000 kV motors here and then I have a spreadsheet for my 1200 kV motors here um, basically the same thing for all of them just run the test put the information in the sheet bring it over the spreadsheet and then I also have a chart that has all the different uh, propeller and motor combinations combined so when I'm when I need to choose a motor propeller combination for a hex or quadcopter I can use this basically deciding how much the craft is going to weigh and how much gear I'm going to carry on board so what would be the most efficient propeller motor combination for that scenario. So um, that's basically what I did with the information on the spreadsheet to compile all that information that you get from the test stand. Okay now I'm just going to show you real briefly how I built the, uh, how I built this test stand. Um, let me just flip it outside so it's easier to see how it's built here. So as you can see it's basically just four pieces of two by four stacked up with a piece of plywood on the bottom to give it a little bit more of a base 
and if I want to clamp it to a desk it just makes it a little bit easier to clamp it down. With all this ply, plywood and uh, two by fours it makes it very heavy so it really doesn't move around anyways. I didn't really need to clamp it because I'm using relatively small motor and propeller combinations and this thing weighs this thing weighs several pounds so I'm not worried about it getting pulled around. And so the other thing I did is I put a piece of uh, plywood in the bay in, in between the upper level and the second level just basically made a little stand to put all my equipment and I just got all these just velcro down to make it a little easier to keep them from moving around while I do the test. So as far as the actual me mechanism I have here for for doing uh, the thrust calculation this is a very simple uh, gram scale that I got from Bass Pro Shops here's the package for the Bass Pro Shops I think it was $21 or something like that it's a very simple scale. It can measure an accuracy of 10 gram increments. So you can see it on the scale there. It's in a decimal point of kilograms, and you just divide so um, and get your and get your uh, grams. So obviously, if it's uh, you know 0.4 kilograms, it's uh, 400 um, 400 grams. So that's the very simple device there. And I just took the hook off here and made it simple to attach it on here. Um, basically this is just a drawer slide. I had to make this so it could move so that as the propeller pulled it would be on a very frictionless system here just to be able to transfer that power to the uh, to the scale and this is just a very simple drawer slide that I picked up at Lowe's I think it was five dollars it's just a 16 inch drawer slide it's just the cheapest easiest thing that I could find that was also pretty rigid so I just screwed that down, the, the bottom part screwed that down to the 2x4 and then I have um, a screw coming up uh, out, of the, out, of the side of the, out of the side here so that I could hook on a little hook. Right here's this little hook right here, hooks onto here and hooks onto the, hooks onto the scale. So that basically how that attaches that, so that moves back and forth like that. Down here at this end, this is basically just a, a motor uh, motor mount for one of my HAL quadcopters that got bent. So I just attached it to a small L bracket, then attached that to the the drawer slide, and it made a pretty pretty firm uh, rigid attachment, and uh, makes it easier that these uh, motor holes are already drilled for 28, 35 size motors makes it easy to be able to switch uh, the motors in and out. And then I just have. Uh, just a twist, uh, a, 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 a tie wrap here, just so that it didn't provide any more friction when it pulled back and forth. I wanted the, the wires to slide with the motor, so that's attached there. So it's a very simple setup. The reason I have this um, protruding off the end here like this, and I cut back the first 2x4, is just basically I wanted to reduce the amount of um, interference from the 2x4 as possible. So by chopping down the profile right here, it, it didn't interfere too much with um, the wind going going by the 2x4. It's probably still not perfect, but um, even in a quadcopter, you're going to have an arm here that's going to be interfering also. So um, this is basically also got it away from uh, my equipment and my hands as far as possible and got it into just some nice clean air by having it uh, protruding that far along. So that's basically how I built the test stand. Um, Altogether, it was very inexpensive between the $5 drawer slide and the $20 um, gram scale. Uh, you can get the this HKO uh, 10 at Hobby King. You can get this uh, KV K1 KV RPM meter at Hobby King. You can also get this at Hobby King. This is just a, I think it's a $5 uh, servo tester. Um, you can distribute your power however you want. This made it a little bit easier to be able to add or change different combinations. And this thing is like five dollars. The Hobby King, I think this is twenty dollars, eighteen to twenty dollars on Hobby King, the uh, power analyzer. So, um, and that's it. That's basically the construction of the test stand. If you stuck around to see uh, the end.